I want to welcome everyone on this refreshing, breezy day. We have a fairly short program, but I don't want the shortness to take away from the grand opening of Kramer Hall here in Hamilton. This is a wonderful day. It's great for Hamilton, and it's great for the college. I'm Herman Sotkamp, the president of Stockton, in case some of you don't know. Uh, we are really pleased that we're expanding our uh, academic offerings to the western part of Atlantic County and its neighboring counties. And today we are really celebrating and honoring Charles and Lynn Kramer and the Kramer family. Mark is here as well, uh, for which this building is named. Now, it's fitting that Stockton establish an even stronger presence in Hamilton. We literally have hundreds of students, faculty, and staff, and alumni currently living here in Hamilton. So our roots are really deep in this area. For several years, we've offered classes in the Hamilton High School, which have been popular. Uh, and the overwhelming demand for classes from Stockton has really been very high and very good. And we're delighted also, if you look around, and some of you who may not be from Hamilton, if you look around, there's an incredible revitalization going on in the downtown area. And I am just delighted that Stockton can be a part of that. We've had a good relationship with Hamilton. We had hoped, actually, to open this building last fall. Opening in January is not the best time for a college to open, but we're transferring the classes from the high school here, and believe me, by the summer and next fall, you're gonna see incredible activity here. This building is over 1,300 square feet. We have five classrooms, a computer station, five seminar rooms, and the wonderful Noise Art Gallery, uh, which will feature local artists, regional and international artists, will also have exhibits here as well. Now, we're slightly delayed in opening, but it doesn't delay our enthusiasm or diminish it at all. We're offering already 11 courses, well over 100 students enrolled, and by this fall, we'll see a significant growth there. Now, before I introduce the speakers for today, I want to recognize and take a moment to acknowledge some of our, our special guests in the audience who have joined us today. From our Board of Trustees at Stockton College, uh, we have Ray Ciccone, Barbara Mor Morvey, and Jimmy Yo. Would you just hold up your hand as I, I call it? Here we go. Thank you so much for being here. Sam Rodeo, the Deputy Mayor of Hamilton, is here. Sam, back here. Yes, thank you so much, Sam. Mickey Palia. Uh, Hamilton City Council is here. Mickey, uh, there we are. And we have quite a few members of the Stockton Foundation who are here, including Lou Steiner, Brian Kruger, and Johanna Johnson, John Hughes, Deborah DiLorenzo, Tim Carew, and Donna Busby. Please let yourself be known. Really appreciate your support and your being here. From the college's Saucy Board, uh, we have uh, Larry Morier here. Larry, I didn't see you when I came in. Larry is a very strong member of our Saucy board. I also want to thank Jim Donio. I saw Jim here, and Jim, thank you so much for your work and your support. Charles Ingram, Rami Pantit, and the staff of the Division of Administration and Finance, our education and, and program partners, St. Joseph's High School, Hamilton High School, Atlanta Care, and Dr. Eileen Conrad Folks and our Hamilton staff. Uh, Eileen, where are you? I know you're here. Thank you so much for all your work. One of the great pleasures of being the president of Stockton is that we have a very, very strong board of trustees. And it's one of my great pleasures to work with this board. And today, Leo Schofer, a person well known in Atlantic County, is representing the board. Leo. Thank you, Herman. Good morning, everyone. Did you notice that as soon as President Sodkamp stood up to speak, the wind died down? That's no coincidence. 
On behalf of the Stockton Board Chair, Curtis Bashaw, and the members of the Board of Trustees, I am honored and delighted to be here to help officially open Stockton's newest instructional site, Kramer Hall, in this wonderful town of Hamilton. Stockton has seen growth in our enrollment each year from Hamilton and from the western part of our county. This historic building in downtown Hamilton serves as an opportunity for Stockton College to grow and expand its programs, offering the ability to provide more opportunities for students who wish to earn a Stockton education and a Stockton degree. I'd like to thank President Sotkam for his leadership and vision to the trustees for their unwavering commitment to Stockton, to the administration, faculty, and staff whose efforts have helped to make this day possible. We also thank all of the community partners who played such a vital role in this endeavor. Most importantly, I'd like to thank Charles and Lynn Kramer and their son Mark and the entire Kramer Beverage family for their support of Stockton and for so generously contributing to the opening of this building for which we celebrate the naming in their honor. I'd like to also let the Kramer family know that we have a facility at Stockton called K-Wing. And we could use a few more letters on that <laughs> wing as well. And we can talk about that later. <laughs> on a personal note, I have known and worked with the Kramer family, Lynn, Charles, and Mark for many years. In many ways, Charles has been a mentor to me. And this is just another example of their commitment, support, and generosity to our community. To the people of Hamilton, I am pleased to say that the leadership and trustees of Stockton College are delighted to have an even stronger and more visible presence in your community. We look forward to beyond this memorable day to the future growth and our continued relationship with this very special town. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. He stole my line about K-Wing, but I, it's, uh, it's very good. It's very, very good. I appreciate it. Normally, the provost introduced the president, president, but today I get to introduce the provost. But I'm just going to do it in a very straightforward way. I'm really pleased to introduce Provost Harvey Kesselman. <laughs> Good morning. One, one of the things I get to do at graduation, I, I, I have a great time doing this. I'm going to do it today. I'd like to introduce to, for, to all of you the lovely First Lady of Stockton, Dot Sotkamp. Okay, she is terrific. And her support, gotcha. It is extraordinarily pleasing to see such a large and supportive turnout for today's ribbon cutting ceremony. We, all of us at Stockton, thank each and every one of you for sharing this wonderful moment with Stockton and, of course, with the Hamilton community. With the opening of Kramer Hall, the Stockton academic community is excited and we're proud of the many opportunities that will be available to Hamilton and all of Southern New Jersey in both the months and years ahead. The design of Kramer Hall combines the mighty pillars of the National Garment Factory with the modern wizardry of high-tech classrooms and seminar spaces. This building represents the assimilation of two great legacies. Indeed, Kramer Hall, academic and community future is most certainly tied to Hamilton's vibrant heritage. And this partnership is already bearing fruit. As President Sockcamp noted, currently we have more than 100 students enrolled in 11 courses here. We also are engaged with many community partners and have started to arrange meetings and events with several groups. For example, the February Hamilton Chamber of Commerce meeting is scheduled to convene in Kramer Hall. The Eagle Theater and the Hamilton Arts Center board meetings will be utilizing space in this building as well. The annual teen arts program, which attracts more than 1,000 New Jersey high school students will enjoy the use of Kramer Hall this May. And of course, Stockton-sponsored programs such as open mic nights, poetry readings, and other activities will engage Stockton students to Kramer Hall and to this wonderful Hamilton community. 
An extremely active and energetic future is planned for Kramer Hall, one with near limitless academic, cultural, and community-focused pursuits. Once again, thanks for being with us today as we celebrate this momentous day. Thank you. None of this would have been possible without the Kramer family. Charles and Lynn, their son Mark, play a central role in Hamilton, but also in Stockton College. Charles has been the chair of our foundation board. He's chaired the Noise Museum Board. He and his family play a remarkable role in our community. It's a wonderful model to have a company move into a community like Hamilton and to play a very positive role in Hamilton itself. If I'm correct, I believe Mark represents the fourth generation heading up Kramer Beverages. So it's my great honor to introduce Charles and Mark Kramer. Good morning. It's a pleasure to see so many of you here, and it's pretty cold out here, so thanks for uh, bearing with it. Um, you've already heard from uh, our president and provost uh, how the building is going to be used in so many wonderful ways, and that's what really gives me, Mark, Lynn, and uh, all of us so much pleasure that we can are part of helping to make Stockton and Hamilton together really blossom. Uh, I think there's a lot of synergy here. There's a lot of, uh, it's a real win-win situation for the town and for the college. Strategically, on the western side of the county, I can see expansion taking place. And it's, uh, I, I'm just very happy that we've been able to be a, a catalyst, I guess, to help make this happen. And, uh, but the work, the work that's been done by the town, by the college, all the dedicated people that have, uh, really put this together. I thank them very much. Uh, the family thanks them because it's, it's great to have our name on here, but that's not what it's about. It's about having the college for future generations, having Hamilton prosper, Stockton prosper, and uh, we really wish uh, both the town and the college the best of luck, and, and we're really confident this is going to be a, uh, a positive move for everyone. Mark, was say something? Uh, good morning. You know, when we, we uh, moved our, our company to Hamilton a little over 11 years ago now because of the location uh, in, in, within our territory of South Jersey. Uh, so we knew that the, the, the geography was, was great. What we didn't know and only found out once we moved here is how wonderful the town of Hamilton is and the people that reside and work in here. And it's been a great partnership for Kramer Beverage with the town of Hamilton and now to see this uh, next level of partnership is is great to see and and uh you know leo mentioned a couple minutes ago of course uh my dad and mom have been a great uh, great mentors and role models for me and uh and i hope to uh, continue uh, to follow in, in their footsteps and their endeavors and and to be part of the community and give back and and to really enjoy uh everything that hamilton uh, has to offer and to continue to to be a, a good uh a partner in the town and and to more good things to happen throughout uh, over the next uh, over the next hopefully several decades that we're uh, residing here in Hamilton. So thank you very much and, and to Stockton, congratulations. For Charles to fly in from Florida with a 10 <laughs> to meet what is real beautiful weather and real weather here, that was that's very nice. Thank you so much, Charles and Mark. Throughout this building process, we've had the support of the Hamilton community and the Hamilton leadership. None of this would have been possible without that. And it's my great pleasure to introduce Mayor Steve D. Donato. Thank you, Dr. Sackcamp. Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, Saucy, Lynn and Charles Kramer, and Mark and the Kramer family. I am honored to represent Hamilton today on truly one of our town's greatest days. We are a college town. 
Thanks to the Richard Stockton College. This beautiful building brought construction jobs to our community. In addition, it's a tremendous reuse of an old factory. This building also will act as an anchor for our downtown. I'm a strong proponent of higher education and the opportunity this building and Stockton will bring to the residents of this community is truly remarkable. Thank you again, Dr. Sackcamp and the Richard Stockton College for your commitment to Hamilton, and we're looking to a long and fruitful relationship. Thank you very, very much. Colleges are not possible without students, and students are not possible without faculty. One of the nicest things about Stockton College is we have an outstanding faculty. We have the highest percentage of full-time faculty of any of the state institutions, which means that our students have the opportunity to learn from the best and from full-time faculty. The president of our faculty senate is Dr. Michael Frank. Mike. Hi, folks. I know it's cold. I'm cold. I wish I brought an overcoat, but <laughs> being a faculty member, I wasn't smart enough. Um, at any rate, I'm Michael Frank. I'm a professor at Stockton and the president of the Faculty Senate, and it's in this latter role that I tell you that the faculty at Stockton is really excited about the prospect of making excellent educational opportunities both convenient and accessible to all the residents of southern New Jersey. Um, I'm, I'm taken with the fact that with the opening of this Hamilton campus, uh, it's really a milestone for the college. Um, and personally, I feel as if the main campus in Galloway is sort of like the hub of a wheel with spokes radiating outward. To our east of the main campus, we have the Carnegie Library Center um, in Atlantic City. To our south, we now have the Aziz Center and is located in Woodbine. Um, to our north, uh, we have the Manahawkin campus. And now, finally, we have Kramer Hall, a fantastic facility anchoring um, us in our west. Um, all the sites at Stockton, all of them uh, operate, uh, all the sites that Stockton operates, rather, and all the students that are served work closely together. Um, we, we draw in students and faculty closer to the community and moving our county and our state along a road of discovery and lifelong learning. I am certain that the entire region will be strengthened by the integration of serious learning and its application to our future growth. I'm real happy to be part of this fantastic event. Thank you and stay warm. Thank you, Mike. Students are essential for education. And I want to introduce Justin Frankel, Chair of the Legislative Policy, uh, Policies and Government Affairs Committee, representing the Stockton Student Senate. Before I introduce him, though, I want to note that Justin will be receiving the Distinguished Student Leadership Award for his achievements and engagement work at Stockton at the William J. Hughes Center for Public Policy Award events at Stockton Seaview Hotel and Golf Club February the 13th. The other distinguished honorees include New Jersey Governor Brendan Byrne, Congressman James Saxon, Dennis Bohm, and Lori Herndon of Atlantic Care. It's an honor to welcome Justin. Thank you, Dr. Sackham. Good morning, friends, distinguished guests, family, members of the Hamilton community, students, faculty, administration. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be here today to share this momentous occasion of the opening of the Kramer Building. I speak on behalf of the Student Senate and the entire student population when I say that we are very proud and excited to be able to extend our wonderful campus into the great town of Hamilton. Stockton provides three core elements to students. The first one is an outstanding education. The second one is a great, successful environment. And the third and most important is a purpose. 
This purpose is what drives us to succeed and not only follow our dreams, but to catch them. And I'm proud to say that when I graduate Stockton, I will catch my dream. And it's from the incredible leadership that Dr. Sackcamp, the Board of Trustees, the Kramer family, the faculty administration that allows us to do this. So once again, thank you to the Kramer family for their generosity and their support and helping to extend our campus into the town of Hamilton. And thank you, Dr. Sandcamp and the faculty administration for everything. Thank you. Now it's a great pleasure to, miss, to introduce Miss Ann Liberto. She's the advancement director of St. Joseph's High School here in Hamilton. And we're delighted to have her here and her father, Dave, who is here as well. Ann and her family have a special connection to this building. Ann is the granddaughter of Mrs. Anna Bertino, who with her husband purchased this clothing factory in 1959. Not only was Anna a successful business person and philanthropist, helping establish Kessler Hospital, she was also a strong advocate for Italian immigrants who made their way to Hamilton. She provided work in the factory, helped them become educated so they too could advance and live the American dream. Quite a remarkable person. It's my pleasure to welcome Anna. Good morning. Today, I have been asked to represent my family. I'm a little short. Still. To represent my family and speak to you about the history of this building. I grew up in this building, from a young kid picking up scraps of fabric on the floor to play with, to a teenager that had to work here. Dad used to say, "You think this money grows from trees? It comes from that factory. Go work." I remember. The summer after high school graduation, my job was to fill in for whoever called in sick that day. I learned a different job each day. If I close my eyes, I can still hear the machines humming. It all began in 1959 when my grandmother, Anna Cibertino, who many in this, who are here today, uh, knew. She started a coat factory named National Garment Company on just one floor of this building. Imagine a woman getting capital and owning a business in the late 1950s. In 1961, she had built the business to be able to purchase the entire building. In 1966, my father, her son-in-law, Dave Liberto, joined the business and an addition was built to accommodate the ever-expanding business. At the height of production, 1,000 to 1,200 coats were produced here daily and shipped to New York City. The business employed 250 workers. Many were immigrants and residents of Hamilton. National Garment Company was an integral part of Hamilton's economy and lifestyle. But times change. By the 80s, imports of clothing had overtaken the market and the factory was closed and sold. This factory building epitomizes everything about achieving the American dream. If you are willing to work hard enough, the dream could be yours, then and now. Back then, with dog determination and a relentless work ethic, the daughter of immigrants had achieved her American dream of owning her own business. For my father, he achieved his American dream of being able to provide a very good living for his family and pay for his three children's college education. For the factory workers, the American dream of home ownership and also being able to send their children to college. And now, the American dream of obtaining a college degree, regardless of class or status, is here. When these students walk through these doors, all they need is the desire to work hard, just as my family and the employees did before them. It is a building that represents opportunity, yesterday and today. The family is thrilled that this building is coming back to life by being a place of knowledge, for it is through education that the world becomes a better place, and we all benefit. But today is not about the past, it is about the future. The family of Anna Bertino 
and Dave Liberto wishes Stockton College much success and looks forward to the next generation of people achieving their American dream here. Thank you. We could probably sell a few coats today <laughs> if we were still doing this. We're now going to cut the ribbon, the official ribbon cutting for the opening of uh, Kramer Hall. I'll ask the uh, platform party to join me behind the ribbon as we cut. Kramer Hall is going to be a fundamental part of Stockton in the upcoming years. It really allows us to extend our campus and everything about it into Hamilton. And as students, it really projects our future and saying that we are from Stockton. This is what we did. This is where we come from. And, and when people know more about Stockton, they know more about you. And that really provides for more opportunity later down the road. The educational opportunities that this building Stockton could bring to the community is truly remarkable. Uh, being a proponent of the higher education, in addition, we believe the student population will trickle into the downtown and uh, shop, at, shop at the stores, eat at the eateries, and uh, there'll be a lot more uh, traffic, so to speak. I think Stockton is a tremendous anchor for our downtown to help its growth and its uh, commercial viability. It enables us to provide educational services at the western corner of Atlantic County. Uh, which brings in a lot of people from Hamilton, but also the surrounding counties around, around Hamilton. And of course, this building is historic. It was a shoe factory, then a clothing factory, and then sat empty for quite a few years. We've taken it, and uh, I think the people who are here today notice, I mean, we've really made major changes. It's a great educational building. I mean, one of, one of the things that's happened to us, uh, we've opened three campuses this year. One in Manahawkin, we'll open another in Woodbine very shortly, and now in Hamilton. In Manahawkin, we found that, uh, one, we've overgrown the campus already. And some of the students who are full-time students at Stockton live in Ocean County. And so they'll take a course or two at Manahawkin and also be full-time students on the main campus. I think the same thing will be true in Hamilton. And of course, the Kramer family, which is extremely important for Hamilton. Kramer Beverages moved here, I think, 11 or 12 years ago. And they have really been uh, community supporters for Hamilton. They have also been strong supporters for Stockton. Uh, Charles Kramer has been the uh, chair of our foundation board. He's also been the chair of the Noise Art Museum. And all of those are being tied together here in Kramer Hall in Hamilton. It wasn't my idea, but when, when I got involved and heard about it, uh, we, uh, Kramer Beverage is in Hamilton. And I, at the time, I was chairman or, or president of the foundation board. And it was a great opportunity for me with my strong involvement in Stockton, my involvement in Hamilton, to put the two together because I thought it would be very beneficial for both to be associated and I thought Hamilton would be a great place to have a, a, a campus. First of all, it'll help make it into like a, a college town, which, which means to me having hundreds of students during the course of the week starting to frequent businesses, you know, eating here. Uh, uh, there's entertainment, there's Eagle Theater, there's, there's shopping, there's, uh, there's art and culture here. It's just great. Main Street's being developed. I think it's very positive, and I think that the students will add a great deal to the town. And, and on the other side of the coin, the town will benefit by having more business, by having more cultural opportunities, by the, st the, the students that live in the area being able to go to college, take courses right here. And this is also a generational thing. Um, uh, I'm third generation. Uh, my son, Mark, Mark Kramer, is fourth generation of Kramer Beverage. And he, he's just 42. I mean, I could see going in the future. This maybe is only the first of several buildings in Hamilton. Maybe uh, it'll become a really... Um, a large part of Stockton. We'll see, but even if it only stays one building, I think it's a great move and uh, it's a win-win situation for everybody and, and uh, myself, my wife, my, our children, we're very happy to be part of it all. <laughs>